slippers off. You know, my slippers and my robe is five pounds easily. So let's go ahead and take that off now. What's up, everybody? <laughs> peace, peace, peace. Today is November the 15th, the fifth day after my 10-day detox challenge. And I was over here drinking my detox juice for today, and I realized I didn't close out my 10-day detox challenge journey. So, last time I picked up the camera, I know it was day nine. I was feeling really good. It was early in the day. Y'all, at the end of the day, I messed up. <laughs> I was cooking my son some Brussels sprouts to go with his rice and vegan chicken nuggets. And I messed around and tasted a Brussels sprout. And it was all down here from there, girl. Before you know it, I had me a whole plate, a whole plate, child, of rice and Brussels sprouts. I ate that and I felt so bad. I felt defeated a little bit. But then I had to pick myself back up again because I realized like me falling off and slipping off and doing something that wasn't a part of the detox, it was victory and how different it felt. It didn't feel like the times in the past where I was trying to eat a certain way or do things a certain way and then I just mess up. In the past, it was always this energy surrounded by it, like, man, fuck it, I'm about to just eat this, or fuck it, I ain't working out today, or fuck it this, fuck it that, you know? That day, when I ate that food, it was just an awareness, like, it was no longer, you know how they say ignorance is bliss, like, and I can't even compare it to that because I wasn't ignorant then and I wasn't ignorant in my past, but in that moment, it just felt different. I felt like a real unsatisfying feeling within my soul. It was like I was looking outside of me, at me, eating that food and just, you know, like, nah, this ain't it, this ain't it. This ain't gonna get us where we trying to go. This is not gonna bring us the results we desire. Like, we can't, we can't, we can't be this version of ourselves anymore. It doesn't even feel good to us anymore. Like, we can't even just be like fucking and indulge and things that we want to indulge in no more. Like that whole night, I did not feel good with myself. But when I woke up the next day, you know, I really like evaluated, self-evaluated, and it was day 10, right? I went all nine days, y'all, and then on that ninth day, I messed up. Don't get me wrong, like, I didn't do everything perfectly during the detox. The first day, I remember I took um, I was making my son a peanut butter jelly sandwich and I had a little bit of the peanut butter because I was making him a sandwich and I was making my salad at the same time. My salad had almonds, so I like dipped a couple of almonds in the peanut butter. On day two, I remember that um, <laughs> my son, again, I was fixing him his food and he had some um, mac and cheese and vegan chicken nuggets. And I took a bite. I took a bite of mac and cheese and a bite of his nugget. That was the second day. And then day three, I called myself trying to preserve my bananas for my bananas go bad. And I made a smoothie with some bananas and some other frozen fruit, like a little milkshake smoothie. Then day four was like, enough is enough no more cheating you're gonna get through a whole day and you're gonna do it right in my mistakes during this 10-day challenge like it brought out a different version of me like i learned from my mistakes and i learned so quickly and i think it's because like my channel was clear y'all because not for the whole 10 days but there were consecutive days in a row where i did not consume any cooked food, any steamed food, everything was raw, just raw food. And I'm taking these enemas and drinking these prune juices and peach uh, pears. That's what I got right here, y'all. Pears, oh my God. I did not know <laughs> how the pears will make you use the bathroom. But, you know, and I'm eating the cantaloupe and stuff like that. Everything was clear, everything was 
connecting and everything was just connecting so quick quicker than usual so i say all that to say yeah i didn't do everything perfectly but i did do a lot of things right and i did like reap a lot of benefits from it so back to day 10 i woke up that day I had this revelation with myself. I got on the support group. I told on myself, but I also acknowledged the fact that it's no longer going to feel the same to mess up like it did in the past. The person that I was coming into this detox is not who I am leaving out. And that's real facts because I'm, I'm witnessing it. I'm witnessing it because I fell off last night and it did not fly, did not go down like the same way it would have prior to me being in this detox. And then I got through day 10. I got through day 10 and I stuck through it. And what I did, well, I told y'all on day nine, like I broke it down, you know, my dietary thing. So what I've been doing these past five days, y'all, is just getting into alignment with it. Like, getting into alignment with following my new schedule for my dietary lifestyle and yesterday I did everything like to the T and I actually skipped my third meal because I was very very hungry I mean I very very full for my second meal of the day I didn't count my calories but I didn't eat a whole lot <laughs> but that's the next step that I need to implement it's just keeping track of my calories somehow it's hard to keep track of the calories when you cook the food yourself rather than like just going to the grocery store and buying something that's already made or that's easy to calculate like a cup of nuts is this many calories you know like i made soup i, I feel like i feel like soup right now just eating soup having my detox drink along with my gallon of water in the first part of my day then breaking my detox with some type of fruit or something light and then like my meals like I want my meals to be soup like soup and crackers like that's just what I want <laughs> I don't know if the crackers is good to eat with it but I'm attached to eating crackers with soup but you know hearty vegetable soup so that's what I ate yesterday and I was full I didn't even eat my third meal but I didn't eat after um dark and I didn't eat after um uh, eight so i and then my soup was early in the day so yesterday was a good day i feel like i'm rambling i'm probably all over the place but i'm just saying that these past five days i'm just getting into alignment with what my new dietary lifestyle is going to be i'm still clear as far as the channel go even though i'm incorporating cooked foods I'm still not eating no meat. I'm still not eating no dairy. I'm still not eating no fast food. I went to the restaurant, y'all. We went to Red Robin. And if you if you don't know what Red Robin is, they have like all these burgers and other stuff too, but they're like known for their burgers. And you can get like a vegan version of any of their burgers. So you can get like the Impossible Patty. You can get the Veggie Patty and throw whatever you want on there. And they got these fries that are like so delicious and they're bottomless fries. So you could just get more and more and more and more and more. And both of my sons went with me and they was just eating their fries and their burgers. And all I could get on the menu, y'all, was a little house salad <laughs> with no croutons and no cheese, vinaigrette <laughs> dressing and steamed broccoli. And I put a little salt and pepper on my steamed broccoli and squirt a little lemon on it and they were bottomless so I had two servings of those and I did drink some sweet tea another thing that I put is to make sure that I don't eat and drink at the same time so since then that was day one after the detox I have not drank and eaten at the same time and I'm noticing like I'm not bloated I'm full I can get full but I'm not bloated but overall, I'm so happy that I did this. I know I'm gonna do it again. I feel rejuvenated. I feel more connected to me. I feel like I'm back into alignment with evolving into her. I feel like I'm so much more ready to have or to embark on this journey of self-mastery. Like I'm ready to master myself. I'm ready to dive into me 
I know that right now I'm in a season of isolation. It's not a lot of people that I can allow to come with me or come near me right now. It's harvesting time. Har um, mm, it's not harvesting time. It's cultivating time. It's self-cultivating time. It's time for me to, you know, just work on me. I look like I'm naked, but I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's regeneration season. And if you've been watching my videos last year, you heard me talk about regeneration season. Like, regeneration season is approaching. It's not really the end of the year, but we are approaching the last season of the year, which is winter. And when I pop out in the spring, I will be, I will be a different me. I will be a different me. That's just where my focus is now. Like I got exactly what I wanted from his detox. I needed a mental reset. I needed a physical reset. And I needed to prove to myself that I could walk the walk. So I will do this detox again. I'm not sure when, but you know, when, when my body calls for it. In the meantime, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. <laughs> I am conditioning myself to wake up at 4 a.m., get in that gallon of water in. About 8.30, I'm making my detox juices. I'm drinking it. I'm doing whatever I can to make sure I have at least one bowel movement a day. You know, I know it's going to take time for me to get on a cycle, but I want to be on that cycle uh, with my bowel movements. You know, I want to break my detox. I want my first meal of the day to be something light, not too heavy. And then just for the second and third meal of the day, I want to enjoy something tasty, you know, something tasty, but also low calorie because I have a new goal. Oh my God, I have a new goal. So earlier this year, I got down to 130 pounds and I was feeling myself and I was like, yeah, maybe like 10 more pounds and I'll be exactly where I want to be. But then I gained all the way back. I don't know if y'all seen the video or not. I get the life update. I gained all the way back. And when I started this detox, I gained even more weight. I literally got up to 155 pounds. So after this detox, I lost a little bit of weight. I got down to like 148. I know that was just waste though. Now it's time for me to lose the weight. I lost the waist, now I need to lose the weight. So that's why it's important for me to, you know, monitor how much food I'm eating, make sure I'm not overeating. I, I need to do my best to stay in calorie deficient. And I also need to get up and exercise. Like every day, if I ain't exercising, I need to do some yoga. So I'm not following my schedule, my new lifestyle perfectly but i'm making steps to like getting acclimated with it and getting a lot in it and um i'm gonna have to cut this video short y'all because this pair of juices went through me and i gotta use the bathroom so stay tuned thank you for watching this video thank you for tuning into all of my videos thank you for watching this whole series about uh, my 10 day detox challenge i love you stay tuned subscribe hit the bell notifications all that i got to go release i love y'all peace Thank you.